You had to put your PS in it, Tony. Oh, y'all good? Welcome to that through the back door. Let's rock out. Yo, what's good, y'all? So this Lucky clip came out the other day, and fans are having mixed reactions about it. So these Lucky belly fat jokes kind of started off as a little funny joke between his fans, you know? They would tell him to shake his belly on live and shit like that. He have a funny little reaction, you know? Ends up on TikTok. Boom. Everybody's happy, right? Publicity for Lucky, and the fans get to have a little laugh. Shake that belly? Whoa. But then there comes a point where you just gotta show some damn respect. Like, they didn't just grab this nigga belly. They gave it a jiggle, too, bruh. Imagine a random dude grips your belly like a cantaloupe and jiggles it while maintaining eye contact, bruh. What you gonna do? You just gonna sit there and get your belly jiggled by some random kid in front of thousands of people on stage? No, you gonna react and spit on the nigga. You see, because y'all gotta remember, this isn't one of your little friends at school. This is a grown ass man on the stage trying to make money, bro. You gotta treat it as such. Like, I get it's a lot of these young kids first time at a concert, but since you see someone famous, you can't just forget how to act and just act a fool in front of them. And honestly, that kid's lucky that security didn't handle his little ass. In all honesty, in my opinion, I think that Lucky handled that situation extremely well because he didn't actually hurt the kid, but instead just disrespected him to the absolute max, which I think was completely appropriate for what he did. Because Lucky or security could have easily grabbed that nigga up out of the crowd and started ground and pounding that nigga on stage, but then the headlines would have been way different. We would have been seeing shit like a rapper beats the brakes off a kid for copping a feel of his belly on stage. But if Lucky really did end up beating him up, then I think that would have really tanked his career because where he is right now in his career, you know, he's not the biggest artist, but he's pretty well known in the underground. So I think that he's on that brink of, you know, mainstream level almost. So if he were to do something crazy like beating up some 14 year old kid on stage for touching his belly, it would not look good at all for him. And, you know, his mainstream hopes would almost die right there. I also see a lot of blame games being played around talking about D.E.O. ruined the lucky fan base, yada, 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 this, that. But if we keep it at a whole stack, it's these lame ass TikTok niggas, man. I think that TikTok just has a lot of people just acting way too comfortable on the internet in terms of what they say and do so that they're taking that energy and just taking it into real life, which is obviously does not work out as we can see in this clip. But then again, you know, state of today, what are we gonna do? Can't really do much about it. But the takeaway of this is just not everything is a joke, and you can and will get boomed for shit like this, man. But hopefully, Lucky doesn't face any charges because spinning on someone is indeed a crime, no matter how much it is deserved. But hopefully, he doesn't face any charges. Hopefully, the kid, you know, doesn't press any charges against him, doesn't do nothing drastic. But, you know, we'll see. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, did Lucky handle the situation well? Should he have handled it differently? Let me know, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm out.